In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a laptop as a cheater monitor. So what, what exactly is a cheater monitor? Well, what it is, is it allows you to see your slides when they're being projected on a big screen like it is in this case in a meeting room uh, TV, for example, without making your notes really small in presenter view in PowerPoint. So what does this look like uh, from the audience's perspective and from your perspective? What the audience sees is the regular big screen in the meeting room as they're normally used to seeing, and they see you have a laptop. Actually, they see you have two laptops, but they're not really gonna notice that all that much. What do you see? So when we take a look at the laptops, we see that we have one laptop on the left which has our slides very large, and the second laptop, which is what we're presenting from, on the right, and it has presenter view. It has the presenter view, and you'll notice that there is a very small version of the current slide. That's why you need the cheater monitor beside you, but it has very large speaker notes. And as we move to a slide that has notes, notice how large that text is. You can stand quite far away and be able to see that text. So for example, if I take this piece of paper, which is a regular eight and a half by 11, and I show you the font size, my estimation, it's between 32 and 36 point font. And this is on a small screen laptop. This is a 13 inch laptop, so it's not a very big screen, but I can stand quite a ways away and still be able to read those notes very easily. So let me show you how this is done to set up. So what I'm using here is I'm using my regular laptop with my HDMI output. Now, my small laptop needs a, a mini display adapter. So the first thing I've done here is I connected my output here to the HDMI, and then I'm using this device. So this device is an HDMI splitter. And what it has, when I look at the back of it, on the right hand side, it has the input that's coming from my laptop. And then the middle and the left hand side are outputs. One of those outputs goes to the TV and the other output goes to a device, which is this device here, which is an HDMI video capture card. Now I have a full video on how you can use a laptop as a second screen. So I'm gonna to link to that in the description below. And you can see that, uh, I'll try and put a card up in the right, top right corner so you can go to that video. So I'm not gonna duplicate what I talked about in that video, but it allows you to use this laptop as a second monitor using the camera app. And you can do this with either a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop, works for both of them very, very well. And so what I do is, is I take the HDMI output from my presentation laptop, it goes into the splitter, and then it goes one of those. So what a splitter does is it takes that one input and feeds that input to two outputs, exactly the same. So one of them goes to this second laptop as my cheater monitor, and the other goes to the TV in the meeting room. So I don't have to keep looking back to the meeting room to see what I have to do. In presenter view, how did I get this text so large? Well, presenter view allows you to move the divider here for the horizontal divider, which allows you to see the next slide, and the vertical divider, which allows you to see the current slide. So normally it has pretty small text. It's usually about that text size, which if you're doing a virtual meeting, that works really well because you're so close to it. But in an in-person or a hybrid, you're standing far away. So what I did in presentation view here, presenter view, is I moved the vertical divider all the way to the left as far as I could go to make the current slide small. I don't need that because I have the cheater monitor. And then I moved the horizontal divider all the way to the top till it got rid of that next slide. And then I used the font button here to increase the font size to the maximum. That's as far as it'll go. Now I have on my presentation laptop 
really big text that I can see from quite a distance. I can be standing more than 10 feet away and comfortably see that. And my, my glasses have three zones, so you know my eyes aren't perfect. I can also see my current slide very well. What do you lose in this? Well, you can't see the next slide coming up, but you can certainly put a comment in if you wanted to do that, if you needed to do that. Now, I can present, I can see my slide very large on that second laptop, the cheater monitor. I can see my comments and be able to use them in presenting. And all the audience sees is that large slide on the large screen. They don't see how I've got this set up. Now it does require you to be carrying this very small HDMI splitter device and the HDMI video capture device, but they're really quite easy to fit into your laptop bag. Now there is a power cord for that HDMI splitter. You do want a powered one, not the um, non-powered one, because it makes it so much easier. So that's how you can set up a second laptop as a cheater monitor when you are delivering a presentation. Use that on your next presentation in person or hybrid and allow yourself to see your notes really large, but still see your slides large as well on that second laptop screen. They don't need to be huge laptops. I'm using a 13 inch laptop for my notes and the other is a, actually it's an old Surface 3 so it only has about a 10 or 11 inch screen on it. Not very big at all. But it still gives me a large enough slide size so that I can easily see the details of the current slide that I'm on. Try that out in your next presentation. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.